Now let us come to a term called molar conductivity. Okay, molar conductivity. So till now we have been, we have seen what conductivity is. Now we come to a term called molar conductivity. So let us try to understand. Now the conductivity of conductivity of of different conductivity of different electrolytes in the same solvent electrolytes in the same solvent in the same solvent varies varies due to the following okay so say you have water and you start putting different electrolytes into it say you put nacl say you put kcl okay and and you try to check the check the conductivity then it will vary okay what's the reason the reason number one is the charge and and size of the ions of both the ions right so that is number one then first is the charge and size of the ions then then the then the then the ease with which ease with which an ion moves an ion moves in a given electric field given electric field electric field is also termed as potential gradient so you can say potential gradient okay some move more easily than the others okay why should that happen okay why should that happen we'll we'll, we'll soon see then comes the concentration of the electrolyte concentration of the electrolyte okay now you see you have studied this in in physics electrostatics if this is an electric field and this is the charge q then this charge q actually experiences a force a force q e now this force q e will try to accelerate this this charge and the acceleration is given by the newton's second law and it becomes q e upon m right so it is q e upon m so acceleration is this so acceleration that is the and and if it accelerates faster it attains a particular velocity faster than the other ion okay if if, if there are two ions and and one's acceleration is more then then starting from the rest they'll attain the the one with the higher acceleration will attain attain a a, a higher speed but the trouble is it depends on two things q and m it depends on two things the charge as well as the mass so it is actually the charge mass ratio charge to mass ratio which is responsible for the ease of movement okay thus the charge to mass ratio is important for for the movement of the charge okay fine
okay then then comes the concentration of the electrolyte okay that also affects the affects the conductivity so 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 what happens is so if we want to measure if we want to measure the conductivity of various 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 solutes in the same solvent different electrolytes in the same solvent what should i do different electrolytes in the same solvent then what should i do i should divide the conductivity by the concentration and that is what we call the molar conductivity okay so so to compare the conductivities of the conductivities of the various electrolytes what we do we of various electrolytes what we do is is we define a, a term called molar conductivity molar conductivity okay it is denoted by lambda m this is the capital lambda okay the capital 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 lambda we we, we are quite familiar with the small lambda which is written like this this is the capital one rather this is written like this okay now this molar conductivity this molar conductivity is equal to the conductivity kappa divided by the concentration so where kappa is the conductivity and c is the concentration right now let us try to understand this is what is the unit of conductivity see see the the guiding equation is this okay if i take its inverse reciprocal so it is 1 by r that is g is equal to kappa into a upon l this is what its unit is siemens so 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 kappa is equal to g into l upon a which is siemens meter upon meter square so per meter fine so conductivity is in siemens per meter concentration say i given mole per meter cube okay so what does it become it becomes siemens per meter divided by mole per meter cube okay and i'm talking about unit so do not start equating it so unit is unit unit of lambda m is this which is siemens per meter mole per meter cube so it is siemens per meter into meter cube divided by mole so so the unit becomes siemens meter square per mole do we get that it is siemens meter square per mole so unit of lambda m lambda m is equal to siemens 
Siemens meter square per mole, right? Fine. Now, if instead of this, I want to convert it into mole per liter, how do I go about it? Let us try to understand that. Now, what is the rule for conversion from one unit into another? Okay, so so let us let us first of all do that. So so if it is one meter cube, it is equal to thousand liters, right? So if I say if I say it is it if I divide both the both the sides by by one meter cube, then it becomes. 1 meter cube divided by 1 meter cube is equal to 1000 liter divided by 1 meter cube, right? Now this becomes 1. 1 is 1000 liter per meter cube. Do we understand? Now, now try to think. If I am given 1 mole per meter cube so so it is something like this per meter cube then this should become this should become 1000 liter per meter cube this is one right so i can multiply multiply anything by one and and this does not have any units let us be very clear about it so 1000 liter per meter cube into 1 mole per liter. So what does it tell me? It tells me that if I am given concentration in mole per meter cube, I, I multiplied by 1000. So it will be 1000 into that much mole per liter so 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 let us try to understand so one mole per liter if i if i want my unit in this so what do i get one mole one mole per liter is equal to one mole per meter cube divided by thousand so if you are given your concentration in mole per meter cube, you divide it by 1000 to get it in terms of mole per liter and that's quite obvious. Let us try to think, okay, let's try to rationally think. In 1000 liter, 1 mole per meter cube is in 1000 liter. So in 1000 liters it has say 1 mole, so in 1 liter it will be 1 by 1000 mole, no? So it will be 1 by 1000, 1 so much by 1000 mole per liter, right? So if I divide the mole per meter cube by 1000, I get, get mole per liter, fine, okay, fine. Now, now what is, what is the, what is the unit in in here it is it is siemens here it is the unit is siemens meter square per mole okay now what if i want to convert this into siemens per cent siemens centimeter square per mole siemens centimeter square per mole so what happens what happens? I have to specify everything into, into that. So, so let us try to think. So expressing, expressing molar conductivity in Siemens centimeter square per mole okay now maybe I am given the concentration in mole per liter that is the molarity is it not this is the this is this is the molarity okay this thing is molarity molarity 
okay so so let us try to understand one one semen per one semen per cent one semen centimeter square per mole so so molar conductivity in siemens centimeter square per mole is equal to what there has to be conductivity suppose i am given the conductivity in terms of in terms of my conductivity is in terms of siemens per meter suppose i am given that in terms of siemens per centimeter so i'll have to first of all take care of this so kappa siemens per centimeter right that is our conductivity now that divided by that divided by what do we have here what do we have here i have my concentration okay by c in mole mole per liter okay this is mole per liter let us try to understand mole upon upon liter okay mole per liter okay now i have to cancel this right so so let us again do the same thing we have 1000 cm cube is equal to 1 liter right so so dividing by 1000 cm cube okay so so dividing by 1000 cm cube 1000 cm cube divided by 1000 cm cube is equal to 1 liter upon 1000 cm cube so i get i get 1 is equal to 1 liter divided by 1000 cm cube let us try to understand so i can multiply by this see i have to cancel my liter so i write it as this okay so what happens this becomes centimeter cube is it not so so this becomes kappa kappa in siemens per centimeter multiplied by 1000 centimeter cube per liter divided by divided by concentration in mole in mole in mole per liter right now what happens this concentration is the molarity is it not this is the molarity so so i write it like this so i i concluded here i have my molar conductivity as kappa siemens siemens per centimeter per centimeter into 1000 centimeter cube per liter divided by the molarity of the solution molarity of solution which is mole per liter which is mole per liter okay so this becomes our working working formula when i am dealing with when i am trying to find out the molar conductivity in terms of mole in terms of sorry 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 siemens centimeter square per mole do we get the point okay kappa in siemens per centimeter into 1000 cm into 1000 divided by the molarity fine now now one more thing they they are quite easily 